So let's consider a complex plane. Here. Obviously, this is a sphere, and then this plane here, right, is an equatorial plane of the sphere. So, wait, so what does it mean? Right? This means that the plane, you know, the, the, the plane will divide the sphere into two equal parts. So at the top of the sphere, we have one point which is called the North Pole. So here, no, we denote uh, North Pole as capital letter N. And on the other hand, on the bottom of the sphere, which is the opposite, no, we have one point also which is called the South Pole, right? And we denote it as the capital letter S. So a line passes through N and S here, right? And which is exactly perpendicular to the complex plane. So uh, remember, this is our complex plane. So when we say perpendicular, no, so this is a uh, two distinct lines intersecting each other at 90 degree or right angle. So uh, this is the N and S line N to S, and then this is our uh, equatorial plane. So as you can see, no, it forms right angle. So this is why the and the line that passes through N and S exactly perpendicular to the complex plane. No? And let's discuss the actual concept, which is the stereographic projection. So consider any point Z. Oh, here. No? Let's consider point Z. No? And a line that passes through N and S, right? So we will going to connect that point N to Z. So like this, no? Okay. So no? So so definitely, so definitely po, this line uh, teach us that the sphere cuts at one point and then we will call this line, you know, P. So, and the coordinate of this line is obviously, um, we will go into S is equals to X sub 1, comma, X sub 2, comma, X sub 3, which is an element of A, our R3, such that, no? So, uh, we know that, that the coordinate of this line that maps, no, N to Z, uh, on the sphere, no? So it will basically, and we also know that the point P here lines on the sphere. So it will basically satisfy the general equation of the sphere, which is uh, x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 1, no? As you could remember. So basically, it will also satisfy this condition, no? Which can be written as um, x sub 1 squared plus uh, x sub 2 squared plus x sub 3 squared, which is equals to 1. So, uh, yes, this is the idea, no? This is the idea of the stereographic projection.